Hey, this is Judgment Waits, and this is part two of my Halo 4 walkthrough. We're picking up right where we left off. Hey. You've been out for a while. Where are we? We're still adrift on the dawn. Why did you wake me? Hang on. Bringing your systems online now. I rewrote your suit's firmware while you were out. You've been busy. Activating the ship's gravity generators. Parking system restoration. Chief, look up. You need to pull the manual release. Seems like old times. Ready to get back to work? I thought you'd never ask. We've got intrusion alerts lighting up on multiple decks. Our best bet to figure out who's boarding us is the observation deck, four floors up. Could it be a rescue team? Wouldn't bet on it. Now, this area that I'm going to isn't necessary for the actual campaign or anything like that. It's just kind of something a little different. If you go down in here, you can pull up the Master Chief service record. This is the service record for Spartan John 117. Would you like to continue? Frigate Pillar of Autumn discovers Forerunner Halo Installation 04 and deploys Spartan 117 to protect UNSC AI Cortana. Chief uncovers a Covenant plot to fire the weapon and sacrifices the Autumn to destroy the Halo Ring. Pursuing the Covenant flagship after an attack on Earth, Spartan 117 arrives at Halo Installation 05 to find the Covenant erupting into civil war. After preventing the Covenant from firing the ring, 117 followed them back to Earth in search of a forerunner installation that can activate all the galaxy's halos. The Covenant arrive at Earth and open a portal to the Ark, an extra-galactic forerunner installation that can fire the Halo Array. Spartan 117 unites a joint Covenant-UNSC team to pursue the Covenant to the Ark, where he successfully destroys the installation and prevents the rings from being used. When Spartan 117 attempts to escape from the Ark aboard the UNSC Forward Unto Dawn, the slipspace portal that the ship is passing through collapses. Aboard the aft section of the Dawn, Spartan 117 is placed into cryosleep, pending recovery by UNSC forces. AI Cortana to remain active as long as is technically feasible. End of service record. Like I said, nothing, you know, earth shattering there. If you're a Halo player, you're going to know all that. But if you're new to it, you know, that might give you an idea of what exactly is going on. Now, just so you know, I'm playing on normal. Normally, I like to go through it once on normal. And then I will play it through on either heroic or legendary to make it more interesting. You know, I like playing through the campaign uh, a few times. Now you're going to have to bear with me, you know, I normally play Call of Duty and I've gotten used to that button layout, so switching back to Halo is going to take me a little bit to get used to it. I do have, I did switch the button layout to one that is similar to Halo though. This is another one of those areas that isn't really important, just kind of shows you the ship and how it was torn, you know, torn in half. Remember, part of it made it back to Earth, and part of it didn't, you know, and the part that didn't make it back to Earth is where Master Chief got stranded on and everything like that, and that's the part heading towards that unknown planet. How long was I out? Four years, seven months, ten days. Somebody should have found us by now. What's that? Sensor scan, high intensity, doesn't match any known patterns. How close are we to the observation deck? It's directly above us. UNSC 
The elevator doors look sealed tight. Chief, be careful! Because some areas might have lost pressure. Right. Chief, watch out! I didn't realize the ship had deteriorated so badly. with the Covenant. A lot can happen in four years. Either way, he's probably not alone. We should be careful. Now, make sure you pick up that Magnum. It's great for headshots against grunts and other creatures, especially if you knock down the shields of elites and then shoot them in the head. With that Magnum, it really helps. Make sure you remember, too, you can assassinate people if you approach them from the back and hit your melee there. override for the blast shield so we can see what we're up against now plasma pistols are really good weapons you know you can charge that up shoot an elite take down their shield and then take them down with something else you know but i just like the usmc weapons the good news is these covenant aren't outfitted like standard military it's possible we just came across a rogue salvage ship or we might have stumbled into an entire covenant fleet Maybe they haven't recognized us. That's one possibility. Landing craft flanking us! Now here I believe is a new weapon called the Storm Rifle. I don't remember it from the previous Halos. I could be wrong. You know, it's been a while since I've played them. Uh, you can correct me. But it's a pretty nice weapon. It seems like it's more powerful per shot than the Plasma Pistol. And it's great for taking down, you know, shields and everything like that. But you don't get that nice, you know, ability to charge. And it will overheat if you just hold down the trigger. We need to get off this ship. We've got bigger problems. We've got a cruiser on an intercept course. Head for the elevator banks. Didn't the ship's sensors say we still had weapon systems online? Yes, but since the ship was torn in half, we can't access the weapon stations. We'll have to fire them manually from the outer hull. Now, I could be wrong, but I think the storm rifle replaced the plasma rifle. I have not seen that in the game yet, and usually elites like to carry that instead of the storm rifle, so I'm thinking that kind of replaced it, though I did see it in a cutscene somewhere, so that was kind of a little bit confusing. Actually, I don't think it was a cutscene. I think it was in the prologue, so maybe that was back in the past, and now they've replaced it.
cruiser's shields are down. Assuming they don't raise them, that missile's gonna be one heck of a surprise. One thing you're going to notice about me and Halo, I am horrible with the grenades. For some reason, I keep thinking that I can, you know, cook them like you can in Call of Duty or hold on to them and that, you know, I won't immediately just throw it when I hit the button. Uh, hopefully, I'll get used to that, though. Now, I'll be the first one to admit the assault rifle is not the greatest weapon. You shouldn't be using it, especially if you're playing it on legendary or anything like that. But, you know, on normal, it's not too bad. These covenants seem more fanatical than the ones we fought before. Just make sure that you burst fire it, you know, and use it in conjunctions with other weapons that can knock down shields. Also, let me know what you think about how it sounds. It just sounds different, and I think I like it better than how it used to. We're just about there. Now here you're going to start running into some jackals. Um, make sure you shoot that one corner part of their shield that's notched out. As soon as you shoot that, you'll hit them and they kind of move the shield out of the way and then you can actually hit them. The Covenant Carbine and the Battle Rifle do really good jobs of taking those guys out. And there's the Needler, you know, it shoots those shards out. Those shards, you know, by themselves aren't that powerful, but you get enough of them together and they become pretty powerful. Make sure that if you're, you know, being shot at by one of those, you just duck around something because they will not, they do home in on you, but they won't home, on you, home in on you around a corner or anything like that. Now this is a concussion rifle, it's not the greatest weapon, usually it fires too slowly and people move out of the way from being hit. If you do use it, try to hit the floor around people you know that you're shooting at, you can get some splash damage with it. The auxiliary launch station should be to your left, out of the airlocks. You'll have to prime the launch for ignition! Cortana. It's nothing. Just get to the launch station. Uh, I'm sorry. Did I miss orbiting a Forerunner planet at some point? One thing at a time. Chief, you need to find the missile controls. Now here's probably one of my favorite weapons, the Covenant Carbine. You get a lot of ammo, I think 70 some rounds usually you can pick up with this thing. And you know, it's a semi-automatic rifle, does good damage, and you can headshot with it. Now here's what I was talking about, about with these jackals. Um, no, look at that, one shot takes these guys out. But if you shoot that corner of the shield, usually 
you know, they'll move the shield and then you can pop them with one shot and take them out. So make sure you pick up that rifle and take it with you. I think it's going to really serve you well. I love how they did the sound. It sounds like you're actually out in outer space. Now, make sure when you're out here, I did not do a good job of keeping track of my ammo and my weapons. Uh, you go through ammo fast taking these guys on, and the weapons actually start floating away, so they're kind of hard to pick up. So do a better job than I did with that. Now this mission is almost done, you know I've got a little bit left here. Make sure you leave me any questions or comments if you have any about Halo 4 or anything like that. Uh, if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe. I try to put out good quality content without you know any of the crap like swearing or anything like that. So you know if you appreciate that, uh, like I said make sure you subscribe and check out the rest of my videos. I should have the entire campaign up this week because I'm getting ready for uh, Black Ops 2, you know, of course, coming out. But hope you like this. As always, guys, take care and God bless.
the one scanning us. So, now can we worry about the giant metal planet? He's using a gravity well to pull us inside the surface. We've got to hurry. The second we cross the dome's event horizon, its atmosphere is going to tear us apart. Where are the closest escape pods? Aft vehicle bay. I'm tagging the closest airlock. Go! Escape pods. Negative. Look out. 